it's always exciting to have a blank surface and make the, you know, make the first marks on it because in a way there's this freedom like, well, I can cover this all up, it doesn't matter. So I can be as experimental as I want with the first layers. So maybe that's when I do things I'm not supposed to do with the paint, you know, like mix in vinegar or salt or too much water or mess up the mediums and so I can get unusual results when I'm not too worried about it looking finished. Art is this subjective thing that each person has their own experience of it and if you can have an imaginative experience of it that's even better. I was researching Superfund sites, which are sites that are classified by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, as the most toxic sites. You know, like toxic dumps or just wood processing plants, oil processing places, um, dry cleaning stores, military sites. And I was just curious to, to go to those places because they tend to be invisible to us. They're all around us. I uh, started to kind of learn about the different ways the environment was shaped that we're mostly unaware of. So that maybe the, the site visits and the research, historical research about place um, was more the serious side and is more the serious side of the work and more the political side, you could say. And then coming to the studio is more this like playful exploration of what I can do with, with colors and layers. I think people probably describe my work as colorful, whimsical, maybe energetic. Sometimes that has seemed like a, a problem to me that if the work is about a sad story, it doesn't look sad. And at other times I think, well, that's just the natural contradiction that exists in all of us, right? I feel like I do have very strong uh, political views and views about what is ethical. And at the same time, I am a playful person and I really love color and I feel like there's a sort of special zone of being, just exploring the relationships between shapes and colors that is a different headspace for me than doing the research and that that's okay.